some sad news that's just come out in the last couple of days, Bradley. The well, it's been revealed that uh, Dave Brailsford mm. has had uh, an operation for cancer, which was actually diagnosed at the Tour de France. It didn't go to surgery. He wanted to stay with the lads at the Tour. Has now had surgery and is waiting for results. I mean, it's a, a big, you know, it's a bit of a, a hammer blow to Dave and his family. Yeah. But it's a guy that you know very, very well. Um, that has kind of been with you pretty much the latter yeah. part of your career, seen all your success. I mean, uh, sad, sad news. I yeah. mean, firstly, the more of us here at Eurosport, uh, we hope it's a, you yeah, know, a positive do. diagnosis, Absolutely, of course, yeah. but yeah, big news there. It is, and um, I've known Dave since I was 18, and we've had an up and down, at times checkered, but uh, one thing I've always considered is Dave is like a big brother to me. Yeah. You know, someone you could have an argument with, a fight with, you know, fall out with, but um, at times frustrating, you know, at times we probably dislike each other. But I spoke to him at the tour. He's very kind of um, reflective, and we had a, you know quite a nice moment actually. And um, but yeah, I mean, just it's quite sad. And it puts puts things into perspective, really. I mean, we cycling's you know particularly Dave the last few years come under a lot of criticism. Um, but it just shows how delicate life is. It almost yeah. disproportionate to what we do complain about sometimes in cycling. But this guy is I've, I know he's got a 15 year old daughter. Yep. He's not a married man, but he's you know been in a relationship for a long, long time with someone I know as well from the start. So it's um, you know no one deserves that, and I think we all wish him a well. And and what he's done for this sport in the last 10 years will never be fully appreciated we get further down the line and and i think the only people that really realize that that are not bitter about it but will be truthful and honest about it to see where the sport has come in the last 25 years in britain it, it's quite a stark contrast really i mean we're talking about a manager who's managed just managed his seventh or eighth tour de france victory who's a knight of the realm who's now attracted a second sponsor that's 40 plus million a year into the sport um has single-handedly made British cycling one of the biggest cycling nations in the world, not only in cycling, but perhaps as a, as an a, a recreational activity in the society, bringing the likes of Sky in. However many Olympic gold medals, you know, Tour de France wins. Um, from a guy who started rubbing legs and massaging legs at a race you were at, Matt, in the 1993 milk race. I didn't even realise that. Yeah. and drive has single-handedly, I would say, with, of course you need the athletes underneath and that. Yeah. And the start has uh, single-handedly, yeah. I would go so far as to say, been one of the re the main reason of success of this sport in this country. And you know only too well that, don't you, Matt? Yeah, and, and I think like just beyond that as well, it's not just the success of British cycling. The ripple effect of the success that that you've had, Chris Hoy's had, Pendleton, Everyone. at Froome. That's affected the world of cycling and the way that cycling is approached from a training perspective, from a nutrition perspective, from a technological perspective, from a Young professional Vincent. perspective. Yeah, you know, Sky with a benchmark, like them or loathe them, they set a new benchmark and um, they, they have changed the sport. And um, OK, it took a couple of years to kind of settle in. They ruffled a lot of feathers with the kind of general attitude, but that was the, kind of a learning process. But they have changed the sport for the better. There's more money in the sport than ever. Um, it's affected quite dramatic change. And... It's a very, very, very important figure in the world of cycling, and that cannot be Absolutely. understated at all. Absolutely, yeah. And um, I think we just, we all wish him really well. Yeah, we're, we're all the mean, best. Um, yeah. Because this is beyond cycling now. This is yeah, about that this people, is humanity, mate, and um, yeah, this is someone's father, Yep. someone's husband, and um, I think we all wish him well from everyone at Eurosport. Definitely.